I don't care. Mm. I will wait I here yeah. until I just yeah. even smell her. Yeah. And she was coming and I literally couldn't talk. I was genuinely yeah. starstruck. Welcome back to DD with Maxi, Development Dynamics. Let me tell you, I'm having so much fun with this conversation. <laughs> like, wow, I'm, myself, I'm relieving my own days. But also, Janet is such an awesome storyteller. Like, genuinely, uh, everyone else in the room is just great. So thank you so much. But before I even move on at the, at the top of this, um, I want to thank you specifically just for accepting that we do this conversation. But also some of the inhibits that we um, that we have at times is just around the venue, right. and uh, you welcomed us to a venue you are. So, like before we even go back to the question I asked before the break, yeah, uh, you can tell us a little bit about here how, how you we found are, ourselves. Yeah, here. how we found ourselves here today. <laughs> how did we find ourselves yes. here today? No, thank you. I was moderating a session at Move and Pick Hotel. Yeah, yeah. Um, a really great. It was the launch of a very progressive report. The, the Desi G Jesse, report. G E S I. So yeah. they're calling it Jesse Gender uh, Equality and Social Inclusion. Fantastic. It's a bit different. It's, yeah. it's kind of digging deeper into yeah. get, getting everyone's voices heard. By Mawazo Institute and and the British High Commission. The UK, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so part of it was that there were breakout rooms. Yeah. And so I, you know, I figured because yeah. the breakout rooms are being used for such a short time, yeah, yeah. just requesting if we could yeah. do it here. And they've been yeah. super kind about they it. They have been really amazing. I want to big up Kan Kanana. 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 Yes, Kanana. Yes. Kanana has been very kind as well. So, yeah. uh, and you're looking dapper. Who's this? Who are you wearing? <laughs> he was like, African wear only. I'm <laughs> yes. like, say less. This is Yvonne Afro Street. Uh -huh. um, I wore this blazer last year when I was moderating uh, Chogam. Rwanda, but I was oh, at home. Fantastic. It was amazing. And so you're constantly with me, I can't wait for that part of your story. Where now you're oh my gosh. all these amazing <laughs> conversations everywhere. In the yeah, world. no, it's yeah. been good. So this is yeah. she, she does really good African wear. Nice. Yes, thank yeah. you. I can wear that by the way. Because I need I this can. though. This is from Kitukali. Yeah. Um Kitukali are those guys, you know, find them at junction, find them wherever else. Yeah. They are doing this. This is a one for one. Please do not get this. But he's leaving it for me. Also, do this <laughs> thing where you gift your guests. <laughs> yes, uh, well, we shall wait for that part. <laughs> we shall wait for that part. So yes, um, yeah. so that, that's how we found yeah. ourselves. Thank yeah. you, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm learning from you also what like media is about and what uh, even you know this new front of uh, digital is about and even mm -hmm. how you plug in mm -hmm. um, important people. But back to your story, mm -hmm. man. <coughs> we are at um, we are now at KTN. We're still, still. at KTN. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. KTN is an amazing story that you have. But I'd asked what what was the what that one interview that or two that you feel my god i was so lucky i was so happy to to do this while at ktn because mm -hmm. i was trying to remember while at ktn what the interview was mm -hmm. which i should because now i'm showing my age <laughs> but i i know that um maybe i'll come back to it but what i can do is mm -hmm. go because there's an interview i did in south africa okay. that i really like because when All i was right. at ktn mm -hmm. which i did for two years mm -hmm. 07 to 09 mm -hmm. 09 2009, none of us had ever done primetime news. Mm. By none of us, well, technically, Esther and I. Yeah. Lillian and Beatrice were the ones who were alternating on primetime mm -hmm. with Joroga and Michael Oyer. Mm -hmm. But now, again, it was this whole thing for let's have other faces on primetime. Yeah. That was a big deal. Mm. I remember when they told us you're mm -hmm. going to be on primetime, I don't mm. think I could sleep for a night. And primetime is nine. Nine o'clock in the week. Because week, weekend Monday. prime yeah. is different. still big, but it's a weekend. Yeah, people are out. Yeah, but yeah. primetime, and at the time, it was one of the most highest watched yeah. primetime slots. Yeah. Mm. So that was huge. It mm -hmm. was one of the things I'm proudest of. And mm. so we started mm. doing primetime. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, mm. there was a station in South Africa mm -hmm. called ETV. Mm -hmm. And they were looking for African anchors to form a branch of ETV called E! News Africa. Mm. And I think it was in preparation for the 2010 World Cup. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So they were yeah. now looking early. Yeah. yeah. And so they'd sent different people, their contacts in different countries. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you send us contacts yeah. of people who you mm -hmm. think? Mm -hmm. And at the time, it was Wayu Amuli, who I believe was the editor of True Love mm -hmm. magazine. Mm -hmm. She kind of reached out to Esther and I. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why she thought mm -hmm. of the two of us. Mm -hmm. And so Esther and I used to mm. talk. Mm. Can I just take this moment? I know it's awkward, no, but, but I miss us, Esther. And, I, and I, it's sad let that us. it's just, yeah. it's crazy. Because I think right now she would have been one of the biggest names, whether in government yeah. or media. Yeah. And I always hold that hope for her. But also strangely, I just feel like, as well as it sounds, I don't know why I feel like one of these days, mm. she'll share her story and it will, it will move other people. And I think it's a, 
it's a story in the making. Mm. It's not, there's no, it's, there's no crash. Yeah. I mean, it's not a um, write-off story. It's a story in the making, which I, I, I stand to believe that Esther Runga is mm. a person in the making. So, I like that. I like that yeah. you say it's a, it's a story in the making. So it's, it's, it's not like things are, are lost. Yeah. It's just yeah. a journey. Because yeah, Esther, first of all, she led a lot of people to faith, mm, despite how she ended up projecting whatever happened yeah. with her faith. Mm. But anyway, so Esther and I used to talk a lot. And mm. so I remember when she was asked about it, she asked me, would you want to do this thing? Mm -hmm. And like, I'm not sure. She said, yeah, I'm not sure either. We've just started doing prime time. Mm. Ah, watch Aikai. So we mm. continued. <laughs> then one day I just thought to myself, you know, just send the screen test. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether I was feeling, mm. I had caught feelings or maybe I was bishanning with one of my bosses. Mm. I'm like, ah, let me just do a screen mm. test. And so How I did. Have those stories as well of why? Like, I'm just trying to remember. The, I think the, the, it the was newsroom. the news. Oh mm. my God. Newsroom politics. Is hey. it? Not for the faint hearted. This is probably why we are all still here. Because yeah. it can break you. Because it's different personalities, heavy stories, mm. high pressure. Mm. You have a turnaround time, sometimes that's ridiculous, but you're expected to perform and deliver mm. um, and smile. Mm. So and, it's, and, and, and retain the smile without looking like... Without looking stressed. So it's yeah. very, very high pressure. Mm. But in the same breath, I feel like it's, for me, the, mm. one of the greatest trainings, mm. just even mm. in life. Yeah. Because it builds your bandwidth yeah, to completely. to take on yeah. anything, whatever, and be good, and be good at it, and <laughs> yeah. to strive to be good, and to strive yeah. to turn things around, and to work under pressure. Yeah. And so I don't remember what was happening then, mm -hmm. but I remember saying, "Oh, let me just do the audition." Mm -hmm. So their request was do a screen test mm -hmm. and send it to us. You can even email us the file. Right. So I did that. I had a friend who was pr a promo producer, mm -hmm. and one day the studio was free. Mm -hmm. I just finished editing my story. I had time. Mm -hmm. I was like, "By the way, see, we mm -hmm. can just use the studio." Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. I'll direct you. Mm -hmm. We came up with a script. Mm. I, I did the whole thing, mm. sent it, mm -hmm. forgot about it. Mm. I moved on. Mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, I've done that. And that was probably in February. Mm -hmm. Then I was in Mombasa for Easter. The very few times you're allowed to breathe when you're in the newsroom, because mm. usually you're working all the time. Yeah, yeah. But I think I had an Easter break because I'd pushed and hadn't gotten any break. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I remember I was in my room in Mombasa mm. and I got a call from South Africa. Oh, this is where you get your calls. Mombasa is my place. No, it is. It really, so it's far, anointed. Like, it is, like, it, <laughs> and my every safe single space. one of your That's beginnings true. starts there. That's really true though. Yeah. And so they said, we saw it and yeah, would you be interested in doing a few more interviews? Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm like, this can't be happening. Mm. And I thought to myself, are you going to move countries? Anyway, fine. Take it as it comes. Mm. Then it became serious. Mm -hmm. They said, listen, you've passed our interviews. Would you be interested in relocating? Mm -hmm. I think at the time I was 25, mm -hmm. no family. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, actually, mm -hmm. yes, I'll mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. So left KTN. Mm -hmm. It took a while to go because there was a problem around work permit, mm -hmm. which was really frustrating. Mm -hmm. In fact, by the time I was getting there, I was so heartbroken because mm -hmm. I'm like, I've already quit my job. Mm -hmm. You guys are not giving yeah. me my permit. But yeah. in the end, mm -hmm. God came through. It mm -hmm. came through. Mm -hmm. I moved in September. Was it a big deal to leave um, KTN at the time? Because then now you're such a household name. You're established. Yeah. You're doing prime time. But even my boss was like, it's such a good opportunity. Okay. I like, I can't be mad. Right. He was, Katu right. Zile was my boss at the yeah. time. Oh yeah. He said, you have my Safarida. Mm -hmm. Like you, mm -hmm. had she left? Trying to, to remember to, to to citizen to citizen now yeah all right but mm -hmm. he was like you mm -hmm. have my blessing mm -hmm. this is this is a big he, he said I can't even make you stay mm -hmm. so they were very kind did mm -hmm. a little bit of um I did a little bit of a party mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. and then I went and I landed in September 2009 mm -hmm. that was solid character development because <laughs> essay it's racism xenophobia ageism sexism anyway. everything earthing is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but I still had an amazing like time. Uh. And being part of the World Cup mm. was oh, insane. Oh. I covered also the elections for Botswana in 2009. Oh. <clears throat> so um, basically covering the region. Covering the region, mm. yeah, the Sadiq mm. region mm. mostly. Mm. And I'd never been mm. to Joburg. I'd mm. been to Cape Town, but I'd mm. never been to mm. Johannesburg. Mm. Um, but now you're situated there. Now I'm situated yeah. there and I'm so living there. So you thought there. crime was bad, okay. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> anyway, crime is bad everywhere. Yeah, However, Joburg. Yeah. <laughs> Joburg has a, a You know, the, the unfortunate thing crime. about Sadek uh -huh. is crimes of passion. Yeah. And so mm. it's, it's generally, it can be more dangerous mm. if you're mm. a woman. And yeah. you can't just tell a guy no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just don't know Ooh. how that will end. So, and I'd been told by some Kenyan mm. friends, they're like, by mm. the way here, if you're asked out, don't be like, Psh, mm. just politely say no. Mm. Mm. And this is not to stereotype. This mm. is not to blanket true, condemnation. True, true, true. There's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of I don't know how you edit this part, edit. No, they, they, but there's PR, a lot of PR beauty guys. as well. <laughs> um, so the yeah, point is you're advised. Mm. These are the areas to go. Mm. This is how to, you know, mm. made again a lot of great friends mm. um, in the newsroom, mm -hmm. 
mostly mm. outside. BP, who was my friend in Malaysia, yeah. now happened to live there. So it mm. was best friends reunited. Mm. It was God sent that she was there. So we used to hang out a lot. Yeah. Um, and it was just, it was nice, honestly. Mm. I think I was mm. ready to be mm. there. Mm. It was still tough because home affairs was xenophobic. Mm. So I'd find myself sometimes at 5 a.m. Yeah. in the winter, lining up at home affairs, trying to fight mm. for my... And mm. they'd say things like, hey, but CC, why must you work here? Mm. I'm like, ask... Mm -hmm. Ask ETV, mm. the adults who've called mm. me, because mm. they'd say, you're not South African, mm. why are you here? I'm like, dude, mm. I was headhunted. Mm. There's such a thing. Yeah. So I was starting to get very frustrated. Mm. But mm. the company was trying to fight for mm. it. But at the end, they said, you know, this is, this is fighting a system. Mm. And that went on for oh. about a year and a half, two years. What? I'd still work, but whenever mm. my permit was coming to an end, I'd mm. have to fight for it to be renewed. So by the time 20, or oh, did the World Cup, mm -hmm. which was... Fascinating. Yeah. I was. I went to Mpumalanga, which was yeah. like maybe a few hours from Johannesburg. So this is reporting sports, reporting football, or what? You're what reporting do you mostly what's happening around because it's World Cup, so yeah. there's hospitality, yeah. yes. tourism. Yeah, that's but the I loved politics it. Of sport, politics sports. of sports. Politics of sports. I I did I did watch some matches. Mm -hmm. I saw Maradona. Oh, look at that. I was like, hi, Messi, Did as well. Take, Messi was there. Yes. Took our selfies and stuff. No, no, on the, on the pitch. <laughs> yeah. They were very far. Yeah. But it was nice to be in the spirit of the stadium. Yeah, yeah. So I thoroughly enjoyed yeah. World Cup season. Yeah. Mm. 2011 rolled in. I was already jaded by all the, the home affairs thing. Mm. Happened to run into the former high commissioner in Nairobi, mm -hmm. the South African high commissioner. Mm -hmm. Now he was back home. Yeah. And we bumped into each other and he was really nice. So he's mm. like, oh my God, let's do coffee. Mm. And in coffee i was telling him all these issues i'm having he's like wait hang on first of all why didn't you tell me mm -hmm. i'm like i can't just call a high commissioner and say mm -hmm. hey boss I i'm having to, issues yeah. but luckily he knew the new head of permits mm -hmm. in pretoria mm -hmm. he said my friend has just taken over mm -hmm. why don't you go mm -hmm. and and try and get your mm -hmm. permit mm -hmm. and that's what i did oh. went to pretoria oh. and she's the new head of permits yeah. Yeah. he told me mm -hmm. by the way i'm sitting on thirty-seven thousand work permits because oh, wow. my predecessor was xenophobic Mm. He just decided guys don't need permits. Mm. So he gave me, just like, yeah. He's, he's like, I've seen your CV. Mm. I've seen you on the mm. news. Mm. You're fine. Mm. But it's so funny. Mm. Even after giving me a five-year work permit and the company giving me a five-year contract, I was like, I want to go home. Oh, you still wanted to? I was like, I want <laughs> to go done. home. They were like, we've just given you. I'm like, I just want to go home. And then I wanted to come back to Kenya and do elections. <coughs> elections of 2013. Uh, mm. 2012, 2013. 2012, 2013. Mm. So they just were like, wow. We've sweated for you, but okay. Oh, that's my alarm. All right. Derailers. Continue. Oui. It, I'll continue. Let me put it off. <laughs> um, oh, Lord. We won't edit this part out, by the way. <laughs> you want to show that I disrupt interviews? I'm not professional. No, this is nice. Because it's, it's as raw as it it's gets. It's raw, you okay. Know? Mm. Um, so, oh, ended up... Had you been made an offer to come or there was? No. So mm -hmm. whenever I was in between my work permit issue mm -hmm. and I'd be in Kenya, yeah. I started, you know, I, I was still in touch with Farida. Mm -hmm. There was no promise. This mm -hmm. is why I'm saying everything I've ever gotten, I've more or less fought for. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never really sat and yeah. been, been handed over. Been hand and even she said, look, mm -hmm. when you come back, mm -hmm. call me, but there's no promise. Mm -hmm. so the moment I landed, I'm mm -hmm. like, hi, I'm mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. This was now 2011. Mm -hmm. I came, so I'd done two years in, yeah. in Joburg because mm -hmm. it was September 2011 when I landed back home and mm -hmm. moved back. Like I'd even shipped my things. I was yeah. like, I'm moving back to mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, and so I told her, I'm here. I need work. She said, let's see. So I'd had to schmooze a bit. I'm like, ah, Farida, you know, mm. you know. So she said, the good thing is I'm looking for a team for elections. Oh, look at that. So you come, but you have to do a screen test. I said, I have no problem. None, because I guess wow. she's like, we need to see you on the set. And we just need to see that you can still yeah. read news. You still got Not it. that you just came from mm. Joburg and you're like, yeah. I can read the news. Yeah. But there, I've eaten humble pie my whole oh, life. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's fine. That's, that's amazing. And people mm. barely know these kinds of things. No, they don't know. Yeah. So she just said, mm. and I said, it's fine. I, mm. I really don't mind because mm. I want this. Mm. I want to come back home and tell our stories. Yeah. So I did the first screen test. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, that's good. Then they paired me with Hussein. Because they needed a co-anchor for Hussein. My, my favorite. I know. It, the two it was of you so, were just, yeah. It was just amazing. So we did it together mm. and they said, okay, you mm. can now be mm. a set. Mm. So that's how I and ended up at Citizen. At Citizen. And you did this like for five years. For six, yeah, for about my six God. years. My what God. Some of the greatest six years of my life. Citizen changed my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, and I don't say that lightly. Mm. It just... I didn't recognize how massive a platform it was. Thank God. Because mm. I think if I'd known, I would have freaked out. Mm. But literally... It was such a massive platform, <laughs> shockingly. 
regionally the most watched, that kind of thing. Yeah. You asked me about one of the greatest interviews. It was Hugh Masekela. Mm. Was was a big one. Come on. He mm. was he was so fascinating to interview because the first thing he told me in South Africa, I had hair like this, which mm. was relaxed. Mm. This is one of the most iconic musicians in the world. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you. So he's shaking my hand and he's looking at my hair and he said, but why is your hair like that? It's the first thing he says to me. So I'm like, like what? He said, why is it relaxed? He said, um, I guess that's just how I wear it. He's like, why don't you wear it natural? Now you're talking to your Masakela, so you're like, I can't push back. I'm like, yes, sir. And I just said, I've never really thought of it. And he said, well, I need you to think about it more. You should either do natural hair or do braids. You don't need to relax your hair. Like noted. That was our, from the Greeks. <laughs> from the, yes. That was our first interaction before oh, wow. we've even done the yeah. interview. Yeah, yeah. But it was a very nice interview. He was so sweet. He was yeah. so funny. Yeah. But he still didn't forget to tell mm. me later. Then At he the asked end. me, what's your name? Janet. He's like, no, no, no. What's your African name? Ooh. Said Wamuni. He's like, I'll call you Wamuni. Hey. Okay. Yes, All right. Sir. Yeah. So that was... That's the kind of guy he is. Eh? He was amazing. Mm. Through and through. He was very mm. like, mm. you know, he was very mm. authentic. Mm. So that was one of the you know, several interviews yeah. I think I did it mm. in 2013 now, two years into Citizen. Mm. I went to Ethiopia to do the AU OAU 50th anniversary. Mm. And then I interviewed too many heads of state. Mm. And it was by, sh I was on like the red carpet mm -hmm. and they were just yeah. throwing them at me. Yeah. So that was a bit shocking because I don't, it was everyone from Museveni to mm. Kenyatta. Mm. Museveni was very arrogant and rude, but it's fine. <laughs> All of them were just passing mm. and I spoke to them. Mm. So that was a pretty mm. iconic and historic moment yeah. to just interview all these people one as after the other yeah. as they go. And this is live television. This is live. Mm. It was in collaboration with Mnet, I think I remember. Mm. So that was wild because mm. it was just mm. one after the other mm. after the mm. other. And so mm. I'll try and remember some of the others I've done. Are Wangari you... Mathai was for me the greatest that's the most starstruck I've been mm. to meet someone mm. ever. Mm. I just couldn't. I was like, mm. Mm. Well, wasn't that earlier? Or that was 2009, actually, because yeah. she died in 2011 when yeah. I just landed. So that was at KTN? At ETV. At ETV. I oh. just gone to South Africa. Then mm. I came back in November mm. to cover my home country, oh. but as ETV. Which is good, yeah. And she was doing a press conference, and I told mm. the team, I don't care. Mm. I will wait I here yeah. until I just yeah. even smell her. Yeah. And she was coming, and I literally couldn't talk. I was genuinely yeah. starstruck. Yeah. The wildest thing happened. Yeah. I said, hi, Professor Wangari yeah. Mathai. I'm Janet. She's like, yeah, Janet, I knew you. Because mm. of TV, mm. almost died. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't even know what's happening. Yeah. We just spoke a little bit, mm. and she said, you know, always push for what you believe in, and, and we took a picture. Mm. But I'd followed this person. Mm. Like, I'd followed Wangari Mathai from her yeah. activism. Mm. I'd read her book. Mm. I'd really internalized her. She's mm. still, like, my favorite hero. Mm. Mm. So that was... Mm. Huge. Th that was a huge. Unit. That was a huge moment yeah. for me. Um, so fast forward to coming back to Citizen mm -hmm. and character development mm -hmm. of just getting into election prep and, and before even the elections. How is the newsroom politics at the time? When I ask politics, do things like ratings and stuff like mm -hmm. that? Are, are these things that are presented to you? Must you sit in like production meetings and mm -hmm. determine a cause? How is it like? What's a normal? There's no normal day, but what's a normal <laughs> atmosphere and a normal day there? I would say one of the days I can highlight is Wednesdays, and yeah. if they still have. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday was the meeting where we set the agenda for the week. Mm -hmm. So all the hosts and, and reporters and anchors would be in the meeting room with the managing director, mm -hmm. the news editor, mm -hmm. and we're all saying, okay, what are you doing for Monday special? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you doing uh, for the, you know, at mm -hmm. the time, the big question, I don't know if it was there. Julie, I think it came sure? much later. That was Hussein. Hussein. Sunday yeah. Live was Julie. Oh, yeah. Um... I think at the time also, I think Catherine and Michael were doing, I'll try and remember, Oof, there was some change. Michael Lillian Duna. was there, Michael Jenga. Jenga, sorry, yeah. Yeah, mm. then there was Lulu Hassan and mm. Kanze who oh. were doing Swahili. Oh I know, yeah. icons, like yeah. proper legends. You are in the midst of greatness. I know, and I'll just be like, yourself, oh my so. God. <laughs> so we would set the agenda mm. and deliberate and debate mm. and then mm. set the tone for these mm. are the topics mm. we'll cover. Mm. Should there not be any breaking news? Okay. So that's, and then you'd mm. go make your calls, mm. do the logistics, get mm. your panelists mm. early. So mm. I'd do that on Wednesday, even mm. though the show is on Monday, mm. I'd do that on Wednesday. Mm. Um, book the show, book the topic, get mm. the research done, mm. get mm. the questions so that by the time Monday is coming, mm. you're not running around mm. unless there's a breaking story yeah. and you need to find new panelists. How is your interface with sales and marketing team? That's a good question. At the time, the good thing is Citizen was through the roof. It still is. It still maintains some yeah. of the strongest ratings. It, actually, I don't think anyone beats them. Yeah. These, Not at all. Washira and Farida just kind of turned yeah. it around. He they, did first with mm. production mm. and then she did with her you know, knowledge and understanding of how news stories mm -hmm. can be packaged, but also news <clears throat> shows. Mm. 
Um, she, for me, is the Phil Matthews of TV. Yeah. All of us have gone through mm. Farida. Mm. Um, mm. I'm still glad that she's a friend and mentor. Mm. Mm. But she was just really good mm. at knowing what your strengths are mm. and pushing you to get there. You All of us have cried. Mm. Uh, we cried many times, but mm. she'd be like, I'm mm. pushing you because I know you can do it. Mm. Um, so the interface with sales at the time was a bit effortless because mm. already the yeah. shows were doing yeah. well. Yeah. People liked certain hosts, so mm. they'd say, oh, Janet, mm. UN women want to do something. Mm. Mm. But it wasn't as, mm. as it is now. I mean, it's mm. been six years since I was part yeah. of a newsroom. I know it's evolved beyond now. It's evolved beyond, but also digital has taken over. There you go. And maybe the sales on TV has not doing as well and as that's that's actually the story yeah. the sales on tv a lot of it has been redirected online yeah tv and radio still have this mainstream power yeah but digital is the new power it is new and it's power. a very bold yeah. new power yeah. and it's oh, yeah. got more mm. more more people mm. so at the time i wouldn't say mm. it was the how's your pairing with hussein no i loved it from the very get-go hussein and i agreed that it wasn't about us it was yeah. about the story oh. and that stayed mm. so we were able to infuse whatever jabs we threw at each mm. other mm but it was always about the news. Yeah. And it was always about delivering mm. the news without it being up how good I look, yeah. what my outfit outfit is like, yeah. that just didn't matter. And we made that and decision yet, together. And yet those things stood they out for, for, for audience, yes. Yeah, I remember I was your guest twice. And I yes. have a photo I showed you recently of, I think you This guy's <laughs> glow up is next level. One day he'll do a glow up story. <laughs> Jeez. Met him in Rwanda, I'm like, no, you're not the same person. Nope, I don't believe you. I remember glow up. <laughs> we, we, we'd come for a, I think it was World, World AIDS Day. We'd come was it for when I was heavily interview. pregnant? Very, like you're about to pop. With Waidera. Was Waidera there? Waidera was there? Waidera wasn't there. I like the way we were talking about was, <laughs> It was a colleague at LBCT. I had one called Rashid. And, yeah. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. And, and I was at the time working at UNICEF. So we were there, you were popping. Yeah, and I gave birth a week later. I think that was your final day. It was my final day, and I yeah. pranked Hussein. Yes, 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 and you pranked Hussein, pranked so we Hussein. were there to witness, to witness that. the prank. You had a very great chemistry, though. What, yeah. what, what is it that built that chemistry? I, I feel like we just agreed on the same things. Like generally, we'd agree and say what's important. Mm. What's important is that we get the questions right, we get the tone right, mm. we get the delivery right. Mm. That it's really yes, we are the deliverers of the news yeah, the messengers. we're the messengers mm. that's what we used to but tell each other is, yeah. so i think we always agreed mm. on delivery mm. it was very intentional mm. we would meet we would sit down mm. we would plan we mm. would you know really nice. yeah we would script mm. the global intro together mm. so mm. i think it was just that mm. and then we were good friends yeah. um and we still are i mean mm. you know we mm. spill chai he's got a lovely wife mm. and for the wedding came for mm. mine like we've just been mm. and that's the beauty of newsroom is mm. that people become like a family yeah so we had mutual respect for mm. the industry and for yeah. each other. Mm. And we always used to plan mm. things mm. in a very detailed way. Mm. So I think mm. that was it. Mm. And, <clears throat> and just knowing that it doesn't have to be about whether or not you are having a bad day or a good day. It mm. has to be about whether or not Kenyans and the world needs to know the news. Yeah. We always agreed on that. In a trust so like that, that, mm. that kind mm. of helped. So mm. yeah, Citizen was just very life-changing. Yeah. Um, at this point, are you, do you have a family at the time? No, so 2013, 2014, yeah. this was now kind of like the prime of, mm. you know, Citizen. Mm. Mm. 2015 is when I had my first son, when you were in the mm. studio. Mm. And um, in fact, I remember Farida chased me. She's like, by the way, I don't want to see you, you because go. you look like you're just about to yeah, give birth. This one yeah. will happen here live on air. Yeah. Um, so we, um, a week later, I had Huru, yeah. my firstborn. Yeah. And then went back three months later. Mm. Went back to TV. To, to TV mm. three months later. Mm. Um, and the welcome back is always like, like are you nervous? Your a first little day? bit, I think so. But I don't know. There's a way that I feel as like I approach things yeah. where I don't necessarily overthink. Okay. I'm like, I just need to go mm. back and do mm. a good job mm. and I need to go back to work. Mm. Like I want to work. Yeah. Mm. And the bosses were very kind because they said, your son is still very young, mm. so you can come in to do the news. You don't have to come in the whole day. Ah, okay. So flexi, flexi, mm. flexi time, time. something okay. that should just be made global, mm. but here we are. <laughs> so I had a bit of flexi time mm. until he was about six months mm. old. Mm. And then what happened? This was 2015. Mm. 2015. 2016, mm -hmm. yeah. so 2015 was good. 2016, there mm. was a huge, I think, um, what is it called? Where people were, were Turn released, turnover. Mm -hmm. And it, it, really, it really made me nervous. It was mm -hmm. sad, first of mm -hmm. all, to see mm -hmm. so, many so many people, people. go. Yeah. And it's I remember it was, people. so many good people. I remember mm. it was Huru's first birthday. Mm. Literally, it was October 26th, so I can't forget. Mm. And you're called, mm. I got a call, and I was told you need to come, so I knew I'm going. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is my last day. But I went there to be told, oh, you, mm. you'll do this show instead. 
Oh, you're moved. I was moved, but it was never the same. And it was then that I realized I want to transition for the moment. Mm. And I also just didn't feel like I had the bandwidth to do elections. Mm. The thing about me is that I thrive on adrenaline. Mm. So elections, breaking news, mm. throw it at me. Mm -hmm. 2013 was mm. so many things. It was elections. Mm -hmm. And I think before that, I believe the year was 2012. Mm -hmm. I remember this is how breaking news works and this is how wild it is. I was getting ready to meet my family for lunch. I was getting dressed and I see a call from, it was a Sunday, mm -hmm. and I see a call from Farida. And she's like, hi, we need you, you need to go to the office now. There's mm -hmm. been a plane crash, that's mm -hmm. all I'm told. I'm like, okay. So I go, tell the family I can't do lunch. Mm -hmm. By the way, life of a journalist, it's, weddings, birthday parties. It's, it's like being in, a, in the military. It's like being in the military, yeah. it's like being a doctor. Yeah. People who love you just have to love you for yeah, who you are, but yeah. you do lose and make you friends. Yeah. So I went to the studio mm. and everybody's running around mm -hmm. and I'm there trying to put on whatever makeup I have. Mm. And I'm trying to ask people what is going on. Mm. So the producer at the time, she's called Wanjiru, she says, okay, there's been a plane crash and we don't know whether Saitoti is dead or alive. Mm. Now go. So the first they're trying to process oh it as a citizen. Mm. Then you're trying to process it as an anchor. Mm. And you don't have much information, mm. breaking news. Mm. At least this time we had earpieces, not a floor yeah. manager. Mm. So the director is saying, okay, Janet, this is the information we have. I printed a script that I could go over. Mm. So I'm like, this is what we know. Mm. In the middle of it, mm. as I'm talking, she whispers in my ear, we can confirm he's dead. Oh my God. <laughs> just, so, you have to, ooh. so you just have to be like, okay. Mm. So I remember being so, I don't know, it was a weird, like choked up. Yeah, because, yeah, you would be. Yeah, yeah. and then I... That live went on for three and a half hours. That oh I'll God. never forget. Oh my God. People were calling in crying. Politicians are calling in crying. People were calling in giving condolences. It just went on and on and on. Mm. Um, but that's basically, mm. that was... That's the, the life there. That was the life. We are breaking yeah. news. You never know wherever you yeah. are, however it will find you. But that rush is, the adrenaline is, is, is quite something. It really is. You're on a high. You are. you crash after though? Yes. Yeah? Uh, hard. <laughs> you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> you really, really, really crash. You yeah. come down hard and you're exhausted and drained and triggered. Mm. The trigger hits you uh, later mm, for mm, whatever it mm, is. Mm. So yeah, you come down, but you're ready for it again. But uh, so how did you manage mental health wise with close relationships with like just so that, you know, all, all of this, because often it is spoken about, you know, how the workspace and without a good centering around mental health and balance, mm. how, how, what were the tips or tricks for like you? Like the coping any, tools. Yeah. I was, I think I've always been a career person. Mm -hmm. So for me, if you didn't understand that this is what I have to do, mm. we'll meet on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We, By the way, these guys are derailers. These ones. <laughs> Because just, so you can tell them, we can pause, you tell them uh, what, what needs to happen. If we need to take a break and you need to get into the call, we can and then we come back. Because now we can't end your story here. So you can take your call. We'll chill. No, I'll do another 10 minutes. You can't do 10? No, I'll do another 10 minutes of this and then I'll go. Because I'm okay for the call still. Oh. It's at, it's at quarter two. Okay. So at But you can't finish your story in 10 minutes. No, see, I'll finish what I can. No, like I won't finish, finish and go. Yeah. I'll okay. do a bit oh, yes. and then yes, go yes. do the call okay. and then yeah, come that back. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yes. <laughs> Everyone was panicking. Like she's just going yeah, to go because, into <laughs> because we are like the stories. <laughs> <laughs> but All I'm right. like, okay, bye guys. Um, or, or do we do we do mm. we and do we take a pause now? Do you need to prepare like set up your laptop for the call? No, no, no. Okay. I just do it on. Okay. on the phone in one of the other in, rooms. In, okay. Yeah, all it's, right. it's just right. an introductory call. This part you're not editing, so we will just continue. It's just an introductory call. <laughs> you are talking about, we are, we are um, yeah, so I think, to mental health. Yeah, um, family has always kind of grounded me. They've mm. always remained the same. Yeah. They've always treated me the same. Mm. So that has been yeah. very grounding. Yeah. Um, even friends, mm. I think having, mm. or even having relations with people who are generally grounding. Yeah. Has made a had made a big difference. Yeah. But yeah, you do lose some friends mm. because they say you missed my wedding, yeah. sis. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, tell my boss and tell the breaking stories that find me. Yeah. Some people get it, some people don't. Mm. So I made peace with that. Mm. I'm in another cycle now where I'm I've rethought my priorities mm. and all. And I mm. think it's just about seasons in life. Yeah. Yeah. And at that season, I absolutely loved what I was doing. And it's there's I, no regret. There's no regret. Yeah. So mm. even in 2013 was elections. Mm. So I was in the studio at 2 a.m., mm. 3 a.m. That was my life. You're, you're doing breaking news about election results coming in. Mm. You mm. go home to rest for three hours, yeah. shower change, go back at midday. But 2013 stories were mm. also hard. I mean, because there was a bit of uh, tension and, and, and tension. Are you offered um, mm. sort debriefing. of debriefing? Like, yeah, yeah, debriefing. Not now, I think. I mean, not then. Uh -huh. 
I think there was mention of it, but yeah. it wasn't as alive as it is today. Oh, today it I has mean, to be a part of It has to be your contract. a part of everything. Yeah. So then I think people just found ways to cope. Maybe mm. some were healthy, some were not. Mm. But you just found a way to swim with the tide. Because mm. you also like, it is what it is. Tomorrow there could be another breaking yeah. story. Yeah. So the elections came, went, the announcement had bombers. All of that was 2013, mm -hmm. inauguration. Mm. So I did all of that mm. and I was just on a high. Mm. And then the same 2013 December, mm -hmm. Breaking story, Mandela has died. Yeah. They're like, you, you're the South African. Oh, my God. Go back. oh you went to SA. I went to SA. Oh. That's one of the biggest stories I've mm. ever done. It's interesting because mm. it happened when I was there for an AIDS conference. There really? was AIDS. Uh, we were in Durban for an AIDS conference. Yeah. And we could just tell, like, the AIDS conference, they had to had shift to one day wow. to have people go to this the lying stadium. In and, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the FNB stadium. Yes, yes. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you were there. You covered it. I covered How it. How was that? Oh, hi one of the highlights of my career. Did you cover the actual... Um, Everything. Funeral? The funeral. The way it worked is, mm -hmm. again, you know, you go there because you're so high on logistics. You need to get there. You need to check into your BNB. Yeah. It's when you get, it's when I got to FNB Stadium that I was like, oh, because I saw Kristen Amanpour, Anderson mm. Cooper. So I'm like, oh, You're like, I'm in this room. With every I'm in this other. room. This guy for Sky News. Oh my gosh. He, I really liked him and I ended up speaking to him. Mm -hmm. Now, surely, how do you forget the names of some of the people you like? Somebody. I would have helped you, but Scott, I don't know. <laughs> I know. But he was one of the first people that interviewed Mandela in prison, out uh, of prison. So oh. when I asked him how he's feeling, he's just like, it's so full circle for me because I've interviewed him so much. And it was just amazing to meet him because yeah. he's one of yeah. the anchors I yeah. really enjoyed watching. Yeah. Very natural delivery, yeah. older. Mm. And he was such a sweet guy mm. that, you know, because I said I need mm. to interview some of the. Mm. I can't interview Ken Amanpur, the barricades oh. to get to them. So I was just like, I'll mm. admire them from mm. far. But mm. he agreed and he's a mm. very big news Deal. anchor. Yeah. So I interviewed him mm. and we had a chat and it was mm. really nice. Mm. Then the stadium again, you're in the stadium, Obama is there yeah. and oh you God. turn around and I remember it was um, two rows behind. Yeah. There was Jimmy Carter, Bill Look Clinton. I was just like, yeah. you know, my, the cameraman and I were like, where are we? What's happening? It was yeah. a bit like a dream. Yeah, yeah. And then it was very powerful, the, the morning. You're sent only with one cameraman? No. <laughs> I love that. I love, I love <laughs> like that you're wearing a like, producer's oh, hat. <laughs> um, I think so. Yeah. Because you had to just go, and I think we were the only ones who had, at the time, a visa. Mm. Now you don't need a visa. Again, yeah. So it's like, you have a visa, you have a visa. You guys go, yeah. kind of thing. Mm. But we still managed to mm. do it, mm. and mm. it was really powerful. Yeah. And then I did the lying in state, which everyone was like, you're mad. I'm like, it's yeah. the only time I'll see Mandela, even if he's dead. Yeah. So did the lying in state, mm. which was very mm. otherworldly. Yeah, it was. Um, and you only had two seconds to view the yeah. body. Yeah. And people were fainting, crying, oh, yeah. vomit. It was. And this is the whole world. Literally this is the literally house. the whole yeah. world. So we interviewed mm. people as they were coming out. Mm. That was mm. very surreal. Mm. The most surreal as well was the send off. Mm. To date, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it because we were in Kunu, mm. I'm sure it's Kunu, mm. which was where his resting place is. Mm -hmm. So even after Joburg, we went to Shags. Mm -hmm. We drove, had mm -hmm. to book an, an Airbnb because mm -hmm. everyone, the whole world was descending mm -hmm. because now that's where his body was yeah. coming to rest. And yeah. we were not allowed because mm -hmm. that was now close family. Mm -hmm. But the convoy mm -hmm. and motorcade didn't end. So mm -hmm. it was helicopters, trucks, aeroplanes, trucks, cars, aero. I've yeah. never seen anything like that in mm. my life. It was probably the most surreal thing I've seen. And it didn't end. You're like, the yeah. convoy is going on for 15 yeah. minutes. And it's aeroplanes with flags. My goodness. It's army military. Yeah. It's cars. Yeah. It's bikes. It's planes. And it just kept going. And people were like, I think they said since Princess Diana or yeah. the Pope. Yeah. He's in the top five True, greatest send-offs in is. history. He is. So that was magical. Logistics-wise, just thinking again, logistically. <laughs> When you're sent to your, do you even have the number of days you're staying or no. figured out? So you're going. You're going just. So they put a card, some, some money on your card. Or yeah, you they try to, to give us a fair amount of money. Yeah. Because we figured maybe five days, but mm. I remember we stayed for about ten. Oh. We stayed for about yeah, ten days. This is a huge. It's a huge thing. Time. It was. It was just mm. mind blowing. So mm. I'm. I'm really glad I got to be a part of yeah. that. It was yeah. really powerful. Yeah. Yeah, it was intense. So did mm. that. So 2013 was mm. just a fantastic year of covering news. Yep. Heavy good news. Heavy that heavy news, monumental. elections, mm. Mandela's, you mm. know, burial and everything. Mm. And then started my family in 2015. Mm. 
2016 left. No, nope, mm. that's a lie. I left in 2017, April, but I made the decision in 2016. Okay. So I planned six months in advance. You communicated to, it to your colleagues? I just communicated it to my family mm -hmm. because I said I want to leave in six months. I have mm. to plan my finances. Mm. I have to plan what am I going to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have a plan. Mm. I just knew... That you're done. You know what? In hindsight, I think I was dealing with a lot of personal issues that I didn't know at the time mm. were bothering me. Mm. You know, like, at the time, I just knew there was something wrong in my life, but I couldn't quite put a finger on it. I was also a bit burnt out because I'd done 10 years nonstop. Now I had a newborn and I was starting to have mom guilt and all those things. So I said, you know what, I can hit pause. And so I remember even in my goodbye, I said, this is see you later, not goodbye, which today, even my bosses are like, okay, you lied to the country. You know, you lied to Kenyans. You need to come back and apologize. Yeah, no, at, <laughs> at least do a, do a month or do a, a year. Month. So I was supposed to go back. I yeah. told them I'll go back for the next election, mm. which... Look at you. You really just wanted the, the adrenaline. Yeah, moments, just like, so? I'll be ready. And I'd even calculated, because I think I was supposed to leave for a few months. Yeah. Then a few months turned into 2018. Then mm. I had another baby. Mm. Um, I was pregnant and they said, you've been pregnant on TV before. I was like, no, but now it's two children. They were like, okay. Then it turned into a whole other cycle. Mm, mm. 2022, so it was just the other yeah, day. They yeah. were like, hey? And you said you're coming back. I know. Yeah. So that's when they said, you're going to come and apologize to Kenyans. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so there was a request for me to join some newsrooms uh, yeah. last year yeah. for the elections. Mm. But I just was, I was just like, guys, I'll come back when I come back. Let's, let's leave it at that. Let's not come back. 2022, 2020. Yeah. And the thing is with TV and with media is it's so diverse. You mm. could go back to maybe do a special program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be in the like newsroom. Like con uh, constant face every yeah, day. Yeah, but it's, it's <clears throat> something to just think about. I mm. sat with myself. Mm. I'm like, is it something that you want to mm. do? Mm. But then everything that I'm doing now, because when mm. I left, I started focusing on social justice. I had a show called Monday Special, which mm -hmm. I interviewed you on, yeah. and it focused on social issues. Yeah. And that planted the seed for the work I do today. Mm -hmm. So when I left, I did a lot of brand work, mm -hmm. moderating and seeing. Mm -hmm. Then in 2017, mm -hmm. I attended Goalkeepers. Mm -hmm. This was a few months after resigning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the for moment I- don't know Goalkeepers. Oh yeah, so I'll mm -hmm. give context. So when I resigned, mm -hmm. There was somebody who saw me resign and he called me the next day and says, I've seen you've resigned, you need a job. Yep. <laughs> and he said, there's this organization looking for like a gender equality advocate. Mm -hmm. I told him, but I don't know those things. Mm. He said, but that's exactly why you should do it because mm -hmm. they're looking for somebody who's not technical. Yeah. So slowly by slowly had the conversation. Mm -hmm. They're based out of another country, but yeah. they needed a Kenyan representative. Mm -hmm. And so that was my soft landing into mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. development economic dynamics. Space, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys normally name drop the name of the show? Oh, you have, okay. thank you very much. Yeah, development watch. dynamics. Yeah, Janet is on. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a thing. Yes. Tell them you won't leave here until you name drop. <laughs> and so that was July when mm -hmm. I joined. Yeah. Um, Goalkeepers. You, you, no, you, when uh, I joined this organization. All right. But they are mm -hmm. a grantee mm -hmm. of the Gates Foundation. Yeah, of the BMGF. So, mm -hmm. or BMGF. So mm -hmm. they, Goalkeepers, which is annual, mm -hmm. usually um, grantees are asked, select people who you think need to come. Yeah. So Goalkeepers kind of like credits and takes note of people who are accomplishing the SDG goals. Yeah. And yeah. people who are making some kind of impact or having conversations mm -hmm. and you're picked from around the world yeah. and it's usually like maybe a thousand mm. plus people mm. so luckily i was into this event into this event it's like yeah. a hot ticket yeah yeah i didn't know mm. you know sometimes my then my cluelessness yeah. was my saving grace i am no longer clueless anymore and right now you are i just want you to know that i'm in alert the industry because <laughs> Again, I get this email. I'm like, I'm not sure what it's about. I wasn't told. So somebody called and said, have you gotten an email about goalkeepers? <laughs> I thought it was spam. D don't ask. They said, okay, Janet, you have a few, you have like a month to get a US visa and to confirm that you're coming. So I did everything really quickly. Yeah. Managed to get a visa. Mm. Thank you, God. Mm. All this time, I'm still not really sure. Mm. I just need logistics done. So mm. I land in New York. I've mm. never been, I'd never been to the US. Mm. And now you're landing in New York mm. for the first time. So mm. I landed there. Mm. And when I landed that morning, that mm. evening was the first, like, the gala dinner. Mm. This is how wild it was. Mm. So remember, I've not really read about it. I read mm. about it on the plane a bit. I'm like, oh, goalkeepers. Yeah. <laughs> I enter the venue. Mm. And the first person I the literally, the, the, the Lincoln Jazz Center. Okay. You've, mm -hmm. you've been. Uh, to one of the goalkeepers, yes. Hey, mm. you're a goalkeeper. <laughs> way, way. I think, I think for me, maybe it was just like a welcome. No, I'm, like, I'm welcome curious. The... You learned, this is... No, it's insane. It's the first person I bump into is Will I Am. Oh, come on. Bump into. Not, oh, come on. not bu bump into. Like, like. So I stop. I'm like, sorry. Then I'm like, 
you're where I am, right? He's like, yeah, yeah. The thing about goalkeepers that's fascinating, it's an equalizer. Yeah. So it doesn't matter who's there. And you're all there. And then nobody has Maringo. Yeah. So he's like, oh, yeah, 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 where are you? I had to really take a breath. Eh? I'm like, oh, he's acting normal. Let me act normal. I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm from Nairobi. I'm Janet, this is what I do. Um, I'm like, don't tell me what you do. I know, da, 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 da. So then I had to go and ask someone to tell me about this goalkeepers, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, like... It, it, I was so confused. Yeah. So somebody was like, see, you just read. <laughs> like, why aren't you reading? Yeah. And I remember for the Kenyans who were there, people like Larry were there and, and Gidinji. So it was yeah. a nice mm. group. Mm. Then attended the goalkeeper session the next day. Mm -hmm. And that changed me mm. completely. Because right. it showed you can make a difference in whichever little way with whatever you have. Mm. It was proof. Because mm. everybody who was speaking, okay, global, mm. some of the world's biggest names were yeah. speaking. I remember that day there was Trudeau, Obama, Trevor Noah. It mm. was wild mm. just watching all of mm. them on stage. Mm. Mm. Melinda Gates. But also everybody you're sitting around. Is a big deal. Is, but in their own way, yeah. in their own country. Mm. Whether it's because they're doing digital activism. Mm. So essentially, mm -hmm. It planted the seed in me to do even more with Inuadada. I'd mm. formed Inuadada out of my work in Citizen. Mm -hmm. Again, hey, 2013 was really quite a oh, year. Wow. 2013, we did a story called Periods of Shame. Yeah. It came on my show mm. and it changed my life because mm -hmm. I'd never heard of period poverty. Mm. Mm. And so very shortly after I formed Inuadada mm. to just mm. basically... Same year. You know, so Inuadada goes back to 2013. It was officially registered in 2014, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping to do like a big 10-year thing next oh, year. Very cool. But yeah, 2013 was when the initiative was born, mm. but the foundation was registered in 2014. Mm. So I'd still been doing in Wadada, but mostly mm. media and advocacy, like mainstreaming mm. the mm. issue. Mm. But 2017 showed you don't have to overthink this yeah. thing, Janet. So yeah. it was really a gift. Mm -hmm. I remember also saying, mm. I was sitting in the audience and I'm like, I wonder how I can get on that stage. Mm. Imagine. Mm -hmm. As Aisha Sise was the MC. I'm like, okay, fine. I know it's Aisha Sise. Sawa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beyonce of MCs mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. But those are the challenges I like giving myself. And I said, mm -hmm. work backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three to five years from now, while this thing is in 2022, I was on the stage. Five Come years on. later. Let me tell you, there's this thing about putting a goal yeah. and working backwards. Claiming it. And mm -hmm. claiming it, but yeah. also working backwards. Because yeah. I told it to myself, by the time Aisha has gone there, mm. Aisha is CNN. Mm. She's a global, yeah. like she's put in mm. the work. You, mm. what work are you putting in? Mm. So I started being very intentional about moderating, hosting, like strengthening my craft mm -hmm. and learning and making mistakes mm. and diversifying and getting information. Mm. Basically, I was in college of, mm. of, of moderation, of moderation um, and, and not sitting back and saying, oh, I'm OK. No, I was like, I you need to do better. I love the you actually call college moderation. At no one point have you said corporate MC. No. I love, I, I think I prefer moderation because yeah. it's more of an engagement. Mm. Mm. But I worked really hard because remember, mm. it's a very competitive space. There's too many amazing yeah. men and women in the space, not just in Kenya, but globally. Especially women. Especially women. Yeah. Like so many mm. solid. Mm. All right. We, we need to let you have the call. No? Let me just do this call.